Well, baking temperatures and the lack of significant rain are hurting all kinds of crops in our area, including wine grapes. Mitch Weber went to Smithville today as one vineyard owner destroyed grapes there to save the vines, even though the rain was coming down. Even with the rain we received today, it's not enough to save this vineyard here in Smithville. They are cutting grapes off an acre of vines. The vines are, are probably saying, Whew. I'm glad you did that. To lose the first and an entire crop only a couple of weeks before harvest is costly. So you're looking at about $8,000 in damage. If they'd had uh, adequate moisture uh, last month and the beginning of this month, they would have been able to coast on through harvest. Owner Galen Haddock won't wait for another drought. He is installing an irrigation system. The winery will still produce some wine from its four acres. Now the Chamberson and the Vignola are not as stressed. They're, they're not as stressed as the, as the Cayuga. Galen cut the grapes off last year for an entirely different reason. Because they're too young. You want them to mature. Losing the first crop is not only to save the vines from drought, but also to make them strong enough to make it through winter. I'm doing what I can to save them. Galen tells me he hopes to have the irrigation system in place sometime next month. Of course, it's too late for the Cayuga white this year, but it could save his uh, harvest next year. In Smithville, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.